Hello everybody, it's your boy Mr. Brams. How you guys doing? We're back. We're back on Fortnite on Season 5. Update literally just launched yesterday. Um, I've been taking some time to play it, get a grasp of it and see how it is. And uh, just see like whether it's worth it or not. Like what did uh, Epic Games actually do um, for this season and what sort of changes they made. Now, uh, uh, before we start the video properly, I would just wanted to say I apologize for the fun noise in the background. It's really hot here in the UK, so, you know, need to keep your boy, you know, cool. So, let's have a look. Um, very nice UI, of course. They changed the UI. They seem to do that every time there's an event or a new season. They change their UI. Uh, in this case, it's very nice and colorful. Let's have a look at the Battle Pass. Now, with the Battle Pass, of course, 950 uh, V-Bucks, what do you get with it? Now, let's start from the beginning. You get um, two characters, of course, like you do every time, and you get one thing per tier. There's some uh, emotes, there's some V-Bucks, there's some sprays, there's some gliders. Um, there's some pretty cool ones, for example, the the new toys. So there's like uh, golf balls and basketballs, and we'll have a look through them. There's the new uh, there's a new sort of uh, harvesting tool, the balloon axe, looking pretty nice. We've got backpack over there, and of course you get the loading screens, um, icons, new characters. Let's have a look. Let's have a look through them. Are these actually worth getting? Are they worth the 950 V bucks? I mean, to be fair, to be totally fair, um, I think it's quite worth it. Especially if you enjoy Fortnite as a game and you're here playing every day, you want to come to the game and actually have something to work. Um, you know, for for example, this uh, back blink. Look at that. Very nice, rear guard. Very nice, looking nice style. Medieval style. Of course, you get the the golf balls and everything. There's the new emotes. This one's really cool. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. But overall, I think it's quite worth it because, of course, not only you get some character skins, but you get V bucks. You get like all these sort of additional gliders characters you get a whole lot for the 950 um, feedbacks that you spend for and of course the grind for the main character of the season which is in this case Ragnarok looks extremely cool look at this the six out of six that's amazing oh my god I mean you know uh, if people rock it with this you know they've been playing the game a lot Look at that character though, absolutely insane, very cool character, I will definitely uh, grind for it and uh, play the game as much as I can to get it. But uh, let's have a look uh, at the shop real quick. For example, uh, if you look at here and you compare what you get um, with the you know season part, I mean battle parts and what you get here, I mean it's absolutely worth it. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Um, many people, and I mean many people, majority of the lobbies are gonna have the battle pass. So the skins are gonna be repeating themselves. So you're gonna see that are a lot. And it's not gonna be like, you know, um, very special because everyone's gonna have the same skin as you. However, even these, they bring them back. So eventually people are gonna have them. So um, I would absolutely recommend getting the the battle pass because of course not only you get all these things you get the challenges which allow you to get a higher level you can unlock new uh, of course items such as this uh, which looks extremely cool uh, there is a bit of a grind there is a bit of a grind but you know definitely up for it um, enjoying the game as a whole so not too bad there so yeah guys, uh, this were just like some impressions on the game. Uh, let's talk about the map now. The map, uh, they have not changed massively. 
Uh, they changed a few things. Uh, perhaps let's go in a game so that I can show you. They've removed some areas. Uh, new areas came out. Uh, of course, uh, the new area, as you can see from the background, has like this sort of orangey look. Very nice holiday type thing. It looks really nice, American style. It's really, really nice. It looks very like eye catchy. It's just a nice place to go to. Of course, they've added the go kart uh, that you can now uh, drive um, across the map which is extremely cool, however, um, a couple of shots and they're gone. So let's have a look at the map. So you see on the bottom right, they now added Paradise Palms. Lazy Lynx replaces the farm on the top. Of course, there's a new area here where there's a, a ship. Overall, um, a very interesting change, however, f for the amount of money they made, I mean, Epic Games, I was expecting them to seriously put uh, a lot more time into this and perhaps have a completely new map but although uh, you know they're making it interesting because I believe and I strongly believe this that throughout the season the map is still going to change uh, because they left it very open because you know uh, basically this is meant to be a conjunction of universe you know universes where they collide so I think that throughout the season uh, these locations you know will change again uh, they will add more perhaps the whole map gradually is gonna you know change that sort of sand look eventually who knows uh, it's all uh, there to see to be seen but uh, I have high hopes uh, especially because Epic Games you know doesn't really tend to disappoint when it comes to Fortnite content so hopefully they'll deliver and they'll make their players happy. But overall, uh, Season 5, great. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more. However, this will be good enough for us to enjoy ourselves for now. Um, I'm not too sure if they'll bring out any more content uh, for now. Although the holidays, you know, some holidays are literally here. So, uh, I'm expecting like some sort of event happening, like a summer, summery event. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys liked uh, this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.